This is the Cine Kodak 8 Model 25 camera. We're going to take this camera and we're going to load this roll of film into it. 8mm film is pretty much the same. You load it in twice. You have to load it in, shoot 25 feet, stop, turn it over, and shoot the other 25 feet. It's a little bit confusing, but I'll show you how to do it. Here we go. Take off the cover and lay it aside. And often when you open it, you will see an empty roll right there. That roll was the last half of the was for the last half of the film that was shot. In other words, the film was on here. It ran all the way through the camera onto the empty reel here. And when this reel was full, we took it out and sent it away for processing. So now we have to start fresh. We take out this reel, which is the empty reel. Turn it over. Notice, please, that there are three slots on this side. And this side has four slots. This little spindle has three, and this one has four. You cannot insert the film incorrectly. So now I'm dropping it right onto here like that. This is the new roll of film. Really it's probably a very old roll of film that I acquired when I bought an old camera. But I use it for demonstrations so let's demonstrate. I'm going to pull out about two feet, well about 18 inches of film, about like that, and put it on that reel and then try to snake it through all of this. That's almost impossible. So lay the film aside, take this reel back out, make sure that this little lever is locked back in this position, like that, and then we'll load the camera. Next we will open this gate right here by lifting it and moving it outward, like that. So now this one's open. Now we'll open this gate, like this. Now it's open. I'm going to zoom in so you can see these gates a little bit better. This one's open. This one's open. I'm going to close this one. And I'm going to close this one. You can't load the film with them closed, so now I'll open them again. Sorry my big hands get in the way, but I don't have any choice. So now they're open and we're going to load the film. We start the film from this reel up here. I'd better back off a bit. There. Start the film from this reel up here. And note that one side is black and one side is beige. The beige side must go toward the front of the camera. Slip this film down into that slot and close it with my index finger. It's locked on. Then I'll bring the film. You notice the beige is still facing the front of the camera. And I'm going to bring it behind this pressure plate. That's spring loaded and just ease it down in behind it. There. Now it's in. It clips closed again. So now we follow this white line. I'm putting my finger right here so that I'm bringing the film around it. I'll do it like this so you can see it better, maybe. And then the film will go up into here. It's dropped right in and it's on the teeth. And I'll close it. So now the film is loaded. 
the reels are not in here yet. That doesn't matter. All I want to do now is test to make sure this loop stays put. Okay, you see how it went away? That often happens. That's not good. So somewhere the teeth came out of the sprocket. So what I'll do is open this again. And I'm going to put a little bit of extra film here. Move it a little bit so that we can slide it backwards. And re-engage that loop. And that's enough right there. There's the loop again. The loop. Up here, I'm going to open it and look. And the film is off the teeth. And that's the problem. So I'm pushing it back down in there. Got it locked on them. And close it. Now it will work. Watch this loop. It will stay in the right place this time. See? Okay. So that was a good example. Just pretend I did that on purpose. But it happens, you know, you think you've got everything just right, and as soon as you start to film it, that loop goes away. If I had waited until I had closed the camera and put the lid back on, I'd be in a mess because I'd have to open it back up, start all over. So now we've got it threaded. And now we're gonna put the full reel in the camera. All this would be done in a in a unlighted or a darkened room, not not in the a dark room, but just in a room that doesn't have a lot of bright light in it. There. That reel's on now. Now this part is interesting because I want to make sure that the right side of this is up. And this is a four notch spindle. Okay, so that means those four notches have to go down to fit on the spindle. And now I'll wind the film around it correctly. Inside there, you can see maybe that little that little slot or slit for the film to go into. So I'll just run the film around this way till it drops into that slot. Then I'll turn it to get it started. And at this point I have a lot more film out than I normally would. Okay, now we're about caught up. I just roll that in, tightening it gently. Not hard, just make it snug. And then drop this down on the spindle. And we're ready to go. I will close it up now, but first I want to show you that it's still okay. Okay. The loop is perfect. If I put this cover on it, it will, this this part of the uh, cover where that little silvery dot is, will hit that button and close the film counter. Listen. Don't know if you could hear that or not. So this is a beautiful little camera, eight millimeter. And it's almost, 90 years old. This is 2020 while I'm filming this and this camera was made in the 1930s and it still operates perfectly.